Hey Adi. Hey, Harun. I recently found out on LinkedIn that you developed a new chat app. Can you tell me about it? Yes, Harun. It's a chat application for web browsers. And uh, basically, you can chat with your friends. Right now, it's only chatting, but uh, I will add the video call and audio call functionality later on. That's great. Can you tell me why did you decide to create an app like this? Well, there are a lot of tutorials out there and they are teaching you basic stuff like real-time communication, but they don't exactly tell you how it's done. Like they know we have packages like WebSockets or Socket.io and they're the abstraction over the real sockets. So I wanted to explore the sockets. I wanted to see how this real-time communication thing many people out there are talking about in their daily life, but don't know how it's actually Actually working so I wanted to dive deeper into this and you know in order to learn something you have to do it there's no better way than that okay that is a very very deep line but can you tell me how did you do that <clears throat> the tech stack uh, I would like uh, I use JavaScript a lot so I made it using JavaScript uh, most specifically for the back end I use nest.js and for the front end I use next.js but the real question was sockets implementation so I uh, use redis so that when the server is uh, clustered, when there are many instances of the server, we can still get connected users. And I got to know about how sockets transmit the data from one client to another, how we can establish a peer-to-peer -peer connection. So what I did was a client, there are two clients. Let's say this is client A, this is client B, and this is the server. So the client A connects to the server, client B connects to the server. Now. The server knows that there are two clients connected uh, to me. Now, those connected clients are uh, stored in a Redis queue. More, uh, if you want to know about the name of the queue, it's Bullem queue. So, one client emits the message and it tells the server, I want to send this message to that specific client. For example, client A will send, I tell the server, I will send this message to client B. The server selects the client B socket from the queue and transmits it. If there is uh, no client B, the data is still transmitted. I mean, there is no client B connected. The client B exists, but let's say he's offline. In that case, the message is still stored. But as soon as the client B logs in, he connects to the server. That means he's online. He has established a socket connection, a handshake. Then uh, the client B will receive that message. Now both clients are connected to the server. Both are online. So they can do a real-time communication with each other as well. So yeah, that's how I achieved it. That is absolutely mind-blowing. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. You're welcome.